Sir, Dot is like water in the desert. Yep, the Koos is in Dubai, a bit rainier than expected. Tomorrow we're at the Polka Dot Pulse event, ahead of Token 2049 later in the week. All of that coming to you on this show, but first, biggest story this week so far is the impending launch of Polymet, Deloitte powered compliant seed round sales. The first two tokens have been announced. Apollon's easy Web3 deployment platform will be raising. I guess the 91 and a half thousand dot they're requesting from Treasury right now isn't gonna cut it. And and, ooh, Mandala Chain. They're partnered with Indonesia, fourth largest population on the planet, to put their citizen IDs, registrations, and government processes on a blockchain secured by DOT. After those two, well, judging by this giggling emoji, I'm gonna say the NAND token for Hyperbridge. Well, maybe sometime after by Excavate, putting real estate development and investment on chain. Accurast, mobile compute cloud, probably any project that spins out of Tansy, maybe even Tansy itself. They're offering out of the box blockchain deployment on Polkadot, now over 600 Tinker Chains deployed on their testnet. It's hard to believe you can get DOT for under $7 today. And it looks like maybe you can for a few weeks yet. The Zeitgeist betting market secured by Polkadot has an implied 85% chance of it staying below 950 by the end of the month. I'm gonna go on the yes side here for a chance to 5X my bet. The market on an ETH ETF approval by the end of the month is a coin flip, but Bitcoin price above 68,000 by the end of the month. The degenerate gamblers are bullish on that. And here's Pinin with even more wider crypto news. In this week's broader crypto update, did anyone miss the market correction? Or Iran and Israel? Perhaps Hong Kong's ETH and BTC ETF approvals? Or Uniswap's Wells Notice? On one hand, you could see the Wells Notice as a good thing. The SEC attacking the clearest non-security, decentralized, well-backed protocol is probably our best bet at a win. On the other hand, any SEC win here could launch the US into the Stone Age, though they have been on a losing streak of late. The argument from Uniswap is that they are merely software developers creating open source code, trading digital file formats, including Unisox, the OG Uniswap NFTs. While we don't know exactly what the SEC will go after, the token, perhaps affected by recent governance, or even those pesky NFTs that are called liquidity providers, whatever this case, this affects us all, especially with all those Uniswap forks running around. Not that the SEC could actually shut down the internet, I think. Back to you, Jay. Thank you, sir. And if you are just joining us from Uniswap EVM land, a great way to learn what's up over here is to connect an EVM address through the Talisman wallet on their Quests platform. So much better than MetaMask. You can start your journey with our referral code below. Stay dry. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day, everybody.